Martin Campbell is reportedly under consideration for the job of directing James Bond 26, and if he gets the gig, it would be the third Bond reboot in a row he's directed. Ever since Daniel Craig's tenure as 007 came to an end with a surprising degree of finality in No Time to Die, Ian has been trying to figure out where to take the franchise next. Not only do they need a new actor to play Bond, they need to find a new creative angle to keep the series feeling fresh. Ian has reportedly narrowed down the search to a short list of potential Bond 26 directors. These filmmakers are being brought in for a first round of speed dates to see if they're a good professional fit for what Ian wants to do with the reboot. The list includes 71's Jan Demange, The Impostors Bart Layton, Animal Kingdom's David Mikud, Venom, The Last Dance's Kelly Marcel, and All Quiet on the Western Front's Edward Berger. But it also includes Campbell, Ian's lucky charm from the last two Bond reboots. Martin Campbell directing Bond 26 would mean he directed the first movie for the last three James Bonds. Campbell previously helmed Goldeneye and Casino Royale. Sean Bean and Pierce Brosnan with guns in Goldeneye. If Campbell directs Bond 26 and introduces audiences to the next 007 actor, then it'll be the third time in a row he's done so. In 1995, Campbell introduced the world to Pierce Brosnan's Bond in Goldeneye, and in 2006, he introduced the world to Daniel Craig's Bond in Casino Royale. In both cases, the franchise was at a serious low point and in need of a radical fresh take to get things back on track, and in both cases, Campbell provided that fresh take. After Timothy Dalton's darker Bond movies, Ian needed the next movie to bring back the series' mainstream appeal, and Campbell nailed it with the explosive blockbuster action of Goldeneye. After Brosnan's shamelessly goofy final outing, Die Another Day, Ian needed the next movie to get audiences to take the franchise seriously again. Campbell nailed that, too, with the gritty realism of Casino Royale. Why Martin Campbell directing Bond 26 would make sense. Campbell has already done this job successfully twice before. Daniel Craig as James Bond looking beaten up and holding a gun in Casino Royale. While it might sound more exciting to bring in a new filmmaker with a new vision for the franchise, hiring Campbell for the next Bond movie would make a lot of sense. There's more writing on James Bond 26 than the average Bond movie, because it has to completely reinvent the franchise. Campbell is familiar with the franchise and has a history of successfully reinventing it for a new actor's sensibility. So, it's understandable that Ian would want him back.